Today we are reviewing the new electric mountain bike Akomayo Colabur. Roll the intro! This is the Colabur 2021, a full suspension mountain bike with 27.5 inches wheel, a 750 mid motor and a 48 volt 17.5 ampere hour battery. Let's start talking about the motor, which is my favorite part of this bike. The Bafang 750 watt mid drive can deliver torque up to 160 Nm and is extremely powerful, reaching high speeds of up to 53 km per hour when combined with the 7-speed Shimano system. As you can hear, the rear hub is pretty noisy. It comes with Logan hydraulic disc brakes. The rear is 106mm and the front is 108mm. Easy to push and powerful stop in the bike shortly. They are well-tuned and noise-free. The front suspension is an SR Suntor XC M30. It has approximately 70mm of travel and the rear shock has approximately 25mm of travel. It handles well and rides smoothly without being too soft but it has little to nothing for controlling the preload or the stiffness. The 27.5 inch rings come with CST Jackrabbit all-terrain tires. They are comfortable on the road and dirt. But for steep off-road hills, I would like to have more grip here. The mid-drive has enough power to climb steep hills, but these tires may not be able to do that. Another great input is the gear shift sensor which shuts off the engine output when shifting. It extends the life of the entire system and makes changes much easier. Great update from the previous models. The 48 volts 17.5 ampere hour battery is integrated into the frame and most cables are routed inside the frame. The battery can be charged directly on the bike or somewhere else. Removing the battery is as easy as replacing it. The charging port looks great and keeps out moisture and dirt. I was expecting a faster charger from the way it looks, but when I open it I can see the normal and small charging connector. It takes about 8 to 9 hours to charge. In my tests, the range on a single charge was about 52 and 56 km. The one size aluminum frame has a good design and is quite tall. The weld is very well done and the paint is perfect. Unlike the previous model, the frame hardly moves when shifting gears. The 68cm long handlebar is stable and ensures a smooth ride. The colorful screen is easy to use and offers many configurations options. There are 5 levels of pedal assist, allowing you to ride with full assist or little assist. You can ride it without power, but it's not a light bike. It weighs about 31 kg. Akomayo Colabur is suitable for people from 170 to 185 centimeters and the recommended maximum load is 100 kilograms like the kickstand the aluminum pedals are solid the headlights are integrated and can be activated via the plus button on the control pad or automatically in the dark with the light sensor however there is no rear light it comes with a pretty good saddle and comfortable hand grips and the handy plastic fenders this is a powerful bike, sometimes too powerful. The torque from the mid-drive is impressive, and this bike easily climbs hills. Acomile sells this bike with 27.5 and 29-inch wheels. Regular bicycle parts are used to service this bike, so you can do it at a nearby bike store. Finding new parts shouldn't be a problem. This is an affordable and great MTB electric bike. With the exception of the finest Bafang motor, there aren't many flashy parts. But nothing feels cheap, it won't let you down. The colobers are well designed and well made. Some details like the rear fork make a difference. The motor is well ventilated and has not overheated so far. At the time this video was recorded, Colobur is priced at $2,220. It comes with a one-year warranty and free shipping to the US and EU. It arrived three days after the order was placed. This bike is easy to assemble. Here you can watch me assembling it step by step. As always, use the code 618AC to get a 10% discount. That's all for today. 
If you have any questions, you know what to do. Comment, like, and subscribe. Cheers.